Hi there, I've been inspired by uh, people making beach skips, so I'm going to make my own. I've been down to Bunnings, which is our local hardware store. I've got some uh, two uh, L-shaped brackets. Um, some new bolts. Uh, some bolts to uh, connect the brackets together. A step drill to drill the PVC piping. Rivets. Didn't have a rivet gun, so I needed one. And uh, for this mould of the scoop, I'm going to use some... Uh, 150 mil PVC piping. I went to the local uh, Trade Link store. Uh, you can buy them in about uh, one meter, about 20 bucks. But the guy gave it to me for for free because he had some in the uh, scrap bin. And I've got some 12 by 12 mini mesh uh, available from Bunnings as well. First of all, I need to trim the uh, scoop down because everything works around the scoop, and we'll take it from there. Okay, I've just squared the base off on the PVC piping. I've put the L brackets around it. Larger ones going on the bottom, smaller one on the top. Uh, this is 20 centimeters there and 25 there. What I'm going to do is um, probably let that go about a centimeter in front there and a cent uh, two centimeters up here and then just cut it straight across. Alright, just finished uh, cutting out the uh, slope on the scoop. Gave it a little bit of a uh, flat edge there. And uh, just in between there and there is uh, 20 centimetres. And yeah, didn't make, didn't make it to a point, just sort of a bit of flat. Um, the under piece, underlying L bracket will come to about there hopefully. Or should. there so well uh, set to go I'll just uh, fold that down and tidy it up okay what I'm about to do is cut four bands approximately uh, 1.5 centimeters wide and these bands can be used to, to hold the wire into the uh, bottom of the scoop uh, I'll just cut those off and I'll get started on the next phase Okay, I've cut my four uh, rings for the bottom of my scoop, which is going to be used to hold the wire in. I cut three of them the same size, which is approximately uh, six, uh, 15, 16 mil, and I cut another one that's about two centimeters high. What's going to happen? This is going to sit on the bottom in there, and the mesh goes on top, and then this sits down over the top of it. I've just made the one of the rims a bit higher to root, to step down the diameter. Uh, so when I'm pushing through the sand, it just uh, funnels it into the back. So the next phase is to cut the wire out for this. Put that in the bottom of, of here. Put the wire in, put that in, and then rivet it on. First, okay, now I'll cut the wire out. Okay, the best way i found to uh, size the wire is to put the scoop on. Uh, and then get a uh, nico and run around on the inside. And then uh, trim it out. Okay, I've finished cutting out the wire bottom of the scoop. Uh, I've just got it sitting in there uh, uh, by a bit of pressure. Um, just cut it as best I could and bent up the edges. Now, that's going to be sitting on a 14, sorry, on a 7mm uh, lip at the back and there'll be another 7mm lip on the other side. So it doesn't matter that there's a bit of a cut here. Um, it's, it's a bit of a tight fit pushing it in. But that's okay, I've just bent up the edges. Um, some other scoops I've seen on YouTube, they have the wire coming out and wrapping around. The idea is that this sits in here and it's held in by pressure by the front and back of the PVC in a looping. So what I'm going to do now is just put the first part of the uh, PVC reinforcement in this side, the back end. Push the wire in and then group, uh, put the other PVC loops on the other side. Okay. What I'm doing here is uh, just putting in seven rivets around the uh, circumference of the bottom loop. Just using clamp to hold it in place. I'm drilling them in about uh, seven mil. These strips here are uh, 15 centimeters approximately, so seven mil into the center of the hole. Drill it. Just using the clamp because uh, these things are a spring, and I didn't want them to uh, pop out. So. Uh, Using clamp to hold it, drill them. You can see the uh, cut mark here where I've got the loops in there. Okay, I'll finish pop riveting that on. Uh, with the riveting, what I've done is 
I've got the cut here as you can see to put the leaf in. I've actually started at the back and I'm working my way around that way. That's all done so now I'm going to work my back way around this way so that way if there's any play it'll pull apart here at the end. I don't want to rivet it here, here and then here then try and pull the edges into the side. It just makes it a better fit if you do it that way. Start, start there, rivet that way and start there and rivet that way. Alright I've just finished riveting in the inside seam. Um, so we've got three thicknesses there, it's, uh, it's uh, about 9mm thick from the outside to the uh, inside um, lip. Uh, for that I used, ended up using 12mm uh, rivets, after that it's set in focus. So yeah, that's the uh, bottom of the scoop, rivet it in. Um, I just placed them about seven centimeters, seven and a half centimeters each around the scoop. Um, I might have to drill that one out there because I've got that's where my bracket's going to go across. So I may move that one and just put another two either side. But the whole thing is uh, this stainless steel mesh. Um, when it rusts, you can just drip, drill them out with a one eighth inch, one eighth inch of a drill and just rivet it up again. So way to go. That's actually just being held in there because it's a little bit oversized and it's pushing against the size. I expect that to rust down and probably move a little bit but uh, that's okay at this stage. The next phase of the scoop is to make the bracket. Uh, this is 4mm. I ended up getting another piece of angle. Uh, still 20 by 25 but this is 4mm thick and this is 3mm thick. This will be on the bottom and the top and the scoop will go in there like that around the, the bracket will go around the scoop. Um, to help fit the uh, bracket I've, I've, I've uh, placed it around just hold it together with a bit of a clamp for the time being. I've actually uh, filed it down and cut it in three mil, three and a half mil. Uh, what I want is this part of the lip here to be sitting uh, flush against that part of the bracket so when I'm driving down uh, the length of the scoop into the sand this has got actually something, this has got something to rest again against which is that plate there and for the top around here I've actually just filed it down a little bit so that this, this part of the lip will sit up against um, sit up against there flush. It's, a little, it's not perfectly square, there's a little bend so by filing it down I'll make sure I get flush between there and by filing it down there, it'll get flushed up against there and hopefully it uh, will drive so that'll be used as a brace there and it'll have the rivets down the side. So what I'm going to do now is just size this up, make sure that this when this fits in here, it's a tight fit. I had smarted myself, it would have been better to actually do this fitting without the wire in there. Um, so what I, I've got to make sure that this is close enough together so that when I slide this down it's a tight fit uh, diam diameter wise across. Also, I'm going to drill uh, some new holes. Uh, this bracket here has some holes in it, but they're eight, seven and a half, eight mil. I've got six mil bolts, so I need to drill two new holes here and there, and that way there won't be too much play uh, with the bolt holes in the bolt. Just finished uh, drilling the uh, holes in the two L brackets to uh, join them together. I've got a, quite a, a nice tight fit. That's just sitting in there. It's not riveted yet. Um, so we have a look from behind. I'm using uh, 0.6 um, uh, 0.6 by 16 mil bolts. I actually need to get some uh, 18 or uh, 20 mil bolts because what I'm going to do now is drill the center of these U-bolt clamps, drill them out here, and they're actually going to go on the inside there like that, and that's going to be the uh, part that my handle bolts onto. Um, so I'll drill those out. The next uh, step is to uh, mark out, probably here at every 15mm, uh, I'll put, drill a hole, 4mm hole, put the rivets in there, and same down here. So I now need to find a mate with a drill press, uh, yeah, with a drill press so I can drill those 4mm uh, holes. It's a bit hard doing it by hand. Alright. Okay, I've finished uh, my bracket. This is just being got all the bolts in place here. Alright, finished the uh, my bracket, drilled all the holes, ended up doing it by uh, hand, um, two and a half to three centimeters apart, 
had to make sure that the first hole there didn't hit the uh, top of the lip in here so it had to be high enough up there so it didn't get the lip um, just hold it together finger tight right now what I need to do is um, size put this onto my scoop and pre-drill all the holes and then I'm going to just uh, touch some put some kill rust on the holes because uh, this is ink plated and if I just touch them up with a bit of paint uh, I'll just stop the corrosion a little bit um, probably only get out once a once a year to the water so hopefully it lasts as long as it can um, these were 16 mil bolts here there I need to make them 18 or oh, 18 mil or more I uh, Bunnings had some 25 mil bolts I'll put them in and I'll just cut them down to, to suit so that's how it's going to look sitting around there and as another add-on, I'm thinking about getting a strap to put it around there, just to give some sideways support. Right, I've just uh, put the handle on the scoop here. And I've actually decided this scoop is probably uh, too long for the, uh, for the material that it's made out of and uh, for the diameter. See, that's 160 here, and that's about uh, 27 centimetres there, uh, about 22 mil there. So what I'm going to do is cut about two inches off the top here and another two inches off the bottom to make that a smaller scoop and that'll make you probably make it more maneuverable uh, for when I place my foot on the back here um, right now I think it's a little bit too long so I'm going to trim the brackets off and cut that off at an angle there so uh, more sawing before I um, uh, rivet it all together and tighten it all up Right, I've uh, cut down the top bracket and the bottom bracket, made the scoop a more uh, manageable size. Okay, now what I'm doing is I've uh, made a template uh, using a hexagonal shape. Each of those sides are 32mm. I'm going to drill a uh, half inch hole on each apex and to help mark it out, I've just taped it, got it in position in between the two brackets where I wanted, taped it in, and I'm just pre drilling them with a 4mm hole before I drill them with the half inch hole. Okay, finish the sand scoop. Uh, for a handle, I ended up using a piece of uh, Tasmanian oak dowel from Bunnings. It's uh, 90 centimeters long, uh, 25 mil diameter. Uh, to do the handle, um, I just marked out a spot where the head nuts were uh, for the bracket. Just cut them out and so it fits a flush against the bracket. Um, yeah. Riveted in, uh, the holes uh, come out alright. I drilled them uh, with a pilot of uh, four mil, and then to make it easy, I then did uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and twelve and a half mil holes. Found it easier to uh, drill PVC that way. If you don't, otherwise you'll end up with uh, splitting and cracking on the hole if you try to drill it with a too larger drill bit straight away, which is what I found. So anyway, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, Inside, I ended up uh, putting in a, uh, a, there it is, a uh, hard drive magnet, uh, just tying it on with a bit of wire, and uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens uh, when I give it a go at the beach uh, next week. So um, hopefully it holds. Uh, the idea is you push with your foot on the back there. Um, the bracket is to be part of the, help, help drive it through, and We'll see how the uh, three and a half mil PVC lasts. I don't believe it should. Uh, I believe it should be okay. Um, again, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I have to take some spanners because I need to put this in the luggage on the plane, and the handle I'll uh, be going on as uh, stowing it away. Uh, hopefully, in my suitcase, um, if not to some child seats that I've got that are coming with me. So, um, let you know how it goes in the field.